Hello Seekers, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you back here with me. Now today's reading is for Aries. Aries, welcome back to your reading, your love reading. We want to find out what's going on with your person, all right? It's a general reading as well, so take it as it comes, all right? Also, if you're here for your very first time and you have not subscribed, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you always know when new contents are uploaded. Don't forget, though, to turn on your notification, right? Because you don't want to miss anything. You don't want to miss it. If I'm probably not already said that already, but you don't want to miss it. It's so important to turn your notification on. Don't forget to give the, th the video a thumbs up. Because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience. So we want to go ahead and give the video a thumbs up so the channel could grow. Okay? Very important. Also, for all my returning seekers, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I, I'm just loving the love right now. Okay? I'm loving the love. Okay, now please know that the cards has been blessed and the cards has been shuffled. But however, before I get into all my readings, I always like to pray first, asking the Lord to send down his most powerful angels to guide me and to take charge over this reading and to just give me the right words and the messages to share with you, my seekers, that needs to know. All right, let's get started. Heavenly Father, as we go along our day, I ask that you guide and protect myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send down your most powerful angels to take charge. Giving me the right words to speak. Giving me the right messages to share with my seekers that needs to know. Heavenly Father, we believe in your glory and we believe in your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So we're going to take about four cards from here. And then I'm going to take about uh, six or eight cards from here. We'll see what the angel wants to come up with. But I'm going to take um, four cards from here first. Just to get started and see what's going on with your love life, honey. What your person is thinking past, present, or future. See if this relationship is worth holding on to, moving forward, or stay in it. All right? So we're going to find that out because somebody needs to make a decision with their present situation. So we're going to find out some things. All righty. So we're going to pull four cards here first, and then we're just going to roll with it just like that. Just going to roll with that. All right. All right. The first one. It's time for me to heal now. Someone is hurting here. Someone went through a really, really tough time. Breakup. Really, really tough time. Okay. And they're saying through all that pain, it's time for me to heal from the situation right now. I have to try to get over this because this is killing me someone is also saying angel is saying coming through with this card i um your person says i bury myself in work to forget you and believe me it doesn't help okay it doesn't help someone that's why it's, it came the first card came through it's just time for me to heal now all right so someone went through something someone is trying to forget someone but someone is also saying, I still have feelings for you. So the feeling is there. And that person is trying to bury their true feelings for that, that person. Okay? I see life differently now. Okay? Someone is seeing things from a different angle. Through all the hurt and the pain and trying to forget that relationship. It's just like you're seeing things on a different angle. You're trying to get yourself together. Right? I still have feelings for you. So there's still feelings involved here. There's a lot of feelings involved here. Still, there's a lot of love. I see a lot of love here. But this broken heart was a very hard one. It was really, 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 really hard. I'm going to go ahead and put two cards on each of these. And then we'll just flow from there and see what the angels have to say for Iris today. Because somebody needs closure really, really bad. Okay? All right, two cards here, two here, two here, and two here. All right. All right, let's start here. New love, okay? There's new love coming into your life. There's a new person, and this new person has stirred your romantic feelings. 
all right? So even though you're going through this situation right here, it's time for me to heal, okay? You're healing. There's a new person that's coming in to your life, all right? And the angels are saying, it is safe for you to love. It is safe. This, with this new person that's coming into your life, after this healing is the thing that was one of the past, the new person is coming in, all right? And it's time to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of, of all, okay? So there's definitely a love that's going to come in. When you read, when you when you heal emotionally from the past, there's love that's coming in. I bury myself in work, okay? You're, the angel is saying that you're saying you bury yourself in work to forget that person, okay? The angel is saying separate yourself from this. Separate yourself from feeling that way, all right? It's time apart from your partner is on their horizon. So there's separation here, okay? But the angels are also saying stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? So stop burying yourself with what you're going through. And be positive. Stay positive. All right? Your faith is going to pull you through all of the feelings that you're feeling right now. You have to have faith. You have lost your faith. Stop burying yourself. Live again. The angel is saying... Your persons, I still have feelings for you. Yes, there's feelings involved, okay? There's feelings involved here. The angels are also saying, trust, right? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, right? Faith, okay? Someone is still having feelings here. The situation is calling for you to have trust, so there was trust in this relationship. This relationship, I lost trust. There wasn't tr any trust there. Keep an open mind, all right? They just say, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, all right? So there's definitely someone coming into your life, and it's going to be a total opposite from what you're usually dating. It won't be the same. If you like someone in the past that like to go on boat rides, this one might like to take the plane instead. It's going to be total opposite of what you're used to. Also, your card that had came up, your, your person says, I see life differently now. Someone is seeing things from a different perspective from where they were in the past, okay? The angels came through and said, release your ex. Let that ex go. That ex got to go, okay? It's time to release your ex because your ex is blocking your happy. That's uh, this time. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. Clear your energy because you said it. You're starting to see things differently now. Okay. The angel said, clear your energy, clear your energy and retreat to a quiet place. It's time for you to just take time for yourself and just be happy. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. It's time for you to disconnect from the world and start living again and smiling again. And, and, and stop being so down on yourself because you cannot force a relationship. A relationship, love has to come when two people come together and, and know that that is the direction that they want to take. That is called your soulmate, okay? One person cannot be here and the other person is down here. Both persons have to be on one accord to let love balance itself out. And that leads to marriage. And, and the baby carriage and the picket fence. This right here is calling for closure, Aries. You have to let go start and to move on with your life, okay? New love is coming into your life, okay? Separate yourself from feeling um, down, burying yourself into work. Be optimistic, okay? Start living again. You're saying, I still have feelings for you. Yes, there is feelings, but there was no trust in this relationship right here. Have an open mind. There's no trust. There was no trust. Trust was broken down here. Trust went out the window when someone wasn't given what they were supposed to give into this relationship. So that trust went out the window. I see life differently now. All right. Someone is saying, I see life differently now. And now the angels are saying, retreat. Okay. Leave your ex alone. If you see life differently now because you know 
What you know now, you didn't know in the past, but now you know, let it go. Let the ex go and start living. Living again, all right? And retreat to a very quiet distance yourself from all the negativity and move on to positive because love is coming into your life, all right? Love is on the way if it has not found you already, okay? So that is your reading for today. I hope it resonates. Uh, God is good and he's good all the time. Don't forget to stay prayed up and remember, always seek and you will always find.